under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Opening night here in this brand new season between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Houston Astros. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. The staffs for these two teams are sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. Hey, just like any team, pitching is going to be the key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but putting together some quality outings early in the season could do wonders for this club getting out of the gate with a good start. It's a date that's been circled for weeks, and it's finally here. Opening night on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Justin Verlander gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do we need to know here, Danny? This guy had a real solid season last year. ERA under three on the year, which is pretty good in this day and age of high scoring and a lot of home runs. Let's see if he can duplicate that year and make this one just as good. It'll be interesting to see how he pitches in this one today. In now is Andrelton Simmons, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Fly ball to straightaway left. Brantley is under it. One out. Batting second, the second baseman, David Fletcher. So stepping in, David Fletcher, his line against Justin Verlander. He's got five base hits in 20 at bats. He's taken him deep once. Now the three and two pitch. Softly hit out towards short. Throw on to first, and Verlander's got it going here, two away. Digging in now, Anthony Rendon, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed strike three. Angels go down one, two, three. Now the Astros will get their first opportunity. No score. Shohei Otani is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season. And I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that. And hopefully, he gets off to a good start. And we'll see if that starts in this one today. Now with the plate, Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A ball and two strikes now. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. The one-two. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. In now, Alex Bregman. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. No, yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. Looking for back-to-back -back Ks to start the game. Full count, three, two. Right, Alex. Here we go. 
hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Batting third. The second baseman. Jose Altuve. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Jordan Alvarez would be next. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. An inning in the books, scoreless on MLB Network. Coming to the plate now, Mike Trout. He'll get us started in the top of the second. A one one. Ball every time. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Aye. See, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hard hit to first. Guriel brings it in, and now a toss to the pitcher Verlander for the out. That is good. The designated hitter, Tommy Lastella. Stepping into the box, Tommy Lastella. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. He's fallen behind now, three and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Three and two, the count is full to the Angels' DH. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitcher right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Grounded up the first baseline. And the Angels have their first hit of the season. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down in the zone right there below the knee. Offensive player was all over. Up good. the plate Justin Upton tough curveball that time but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going and he lays off here a nice job it's ball four 
First and second now with one away. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't right even field. close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Coming to the plate now, Brian Goodwin. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The 2-1 home. Just catches the inside corner for strike two. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Three and two, full count. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Full count still. No score here as we play inning number two. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Another full count offering on its way. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Standing in now, Jason Castro. And he misses two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. drive out to left center field and this will find the wall out near the visitors bullpen and a relay home and not in time as the second run scores this thing was a double or more the second it left his bat he really drove it well and it ended up one hopping the wall out there and more importantly he picks up two RBI along the way Into the box now, Albert Pujols. A ball and two strikes to ball Albert ball. Pujols. Two strikes. Tough pitch to lay two off there, two. but he did, and it's even up at two and two. From the stretch, no offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Angels two, and the Astros nothing. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The 1-1 is taken high above the zone. To 2-2 two and two now. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. 
One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the payoff pitch home gets him looking up around the letters. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute that missile of a fastball. The first Even if you recognize the breaking Juliette ball team. out of the pitcher's hand, it's Going so down. hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Stepping in now, Yuli Gurriel. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings in George Springer. Two out, nobody on. One and two as he chases the slider. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. They're down two to nothing. And we're back in Houston. Welcome back to Minute Maid Park as we check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Thank you, Heidi. So it's back to the top of the order now. And standing in one of the best two-strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' leadoff hitter. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. The three and one pitch. Line drive to left. Brentley has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. the plate David Fletcher he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time one out nobody on and he lays off the pitch down and away ball two. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of but he did somehow and he's got it to three and one Anthony Rendon will be next Bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. In time to first, and there are two away. The third base, so bases are empty here with two gone. And the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. A 1 1. Ball, that pitch is up. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in his own. That's one you normally pop right up. Here now the 2-2. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The next 3-2.
swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Reddick has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Angels are gone in order. They're up two to nothing. Here's Carlos Correa now as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Batting eight. The right field. So here's Josh Reddick. comes on one and one a double play ball to second four six three and they turn the double play boy that's about as easy as it comes a chopper two hopper turns into a tailor made four six three double play So base is empty now after the double play. And next to hit is the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Here we go, Bases are empty here, here with go. two men out. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. lifted down the line in left and this will wind up a foul ball and that one never threatened the zone it's gone full now to three and two looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two two pitch there but kind of overdid it with a pitch that high it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Count remains full. A payoff pitch one more time. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Astros are down quietly. They trail things here two to nothing. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's Trout waiting on the 1-1. One -one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. That misses, and we're even at two and two. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. Ground ball right into the shift. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The bat, number nine. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The 3-2 one more time. 
Hits this one hard the other way. Bregman fields it cleanly. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Here's Justin Upton now. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Verlander's starting to run up his pitch count. He's at 75 thus far. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Two runs on two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. And Upton will reach as he looks at ball four. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing, so I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Into the box, Brian Goodwin, man at first after the two-out walk. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him as the Angels have now opened up a 4 to nothing lead. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. At the plate now, Jason Castro. Down the left field line and deep. And no one will get this one. The one-two. Misses, ball two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. One thing's clear. He's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. But the Angels get two, both on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 4-0 Angels. Back to the top of the order now, and Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Another one sent foul. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone into the upper deck. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. Yeah, they're still down a few, but a solo shot will make them feel a lot better about themselves. They're not being shut out, and now they know they can get to this guy.
So now to the plate, Alex Bregman. And this one just misses off the corner. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. One run, two hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Giving chase is good one. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. Certainly a highlight real grab that we just witnessed. So here it is again with show track. And the high 90s route efficiency is what stands out. He read it off the bat exceptionally well and closed ground on it just about as well as one could. Now in the box, Jose Altuve. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jordan Alvarez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs when you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Hey, guys, he's lucky he's getting his baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put Goodwood on. In now, Yuli Gurriel. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3-2 and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. hit the other way out toward right field. Waiting on it is Goodwin. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Astros get a run back here on the solo shot. We're through four. It's now a 4-1 game. Here's Albert now. He'll start off the fifth in this one. One one home. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. This one's down to third. Bregman gloves it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. A 1 1. Popped him up. Stubbs has a play. Two down. The batter number 22. Second Digging in once again, Peter. David Fletcher. Fletcher. A 
ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Slow little grounder left side. Bregman has it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three, but they lead it four to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros offense with Houston's manager. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Thank you, Heidi. The one two line shot to first and there's one away. The batter number one. Good stop. Carlo. Striding in for Houston. Carlos Correa. From the windup, the one one pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to first, two gone. Now better. Next up for the Strohs, Josh Reddick. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. They trail it four to one. Your Brad Peacock three. takes over to start now the Peacock sixth inning on the mound. Number 41. Peacock. All set for the start of the inning, and digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Grounded back up the middle. Altuve fields it cleanly. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He was a ground out victim last time up. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hard hit towards center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Now this is one park in the league that sees a lot of triples because of the way it's designed. And he adds another one, heading to third for the three-bagger. To the plate now, Tommy LaStella lifted in the air toward the line and right. And no one will track it down. The 2 2 is looked at off the plate for a ball. Do next is Justin Upton as he gets loose in the on deck circle. Now the pass.
payoff pitch home. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Cue shot here out towards short. And the tag gets him. A one run is in to score on the play. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Digging in to try it again, Justin Upton. The 1-2. is swung on and missed strike three. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Angels lead it 5-1. to one. Stepping up now, Garrett Stubbs. 0-1 for, for him here in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Pops this one up. Fletcher is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Here's Michael Brantley, Michael. one for two in the ball game thus far. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, man. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. The third baseman. Ready for Alex. another shot now. Alex Bregman. He was robbed of a hit in his last at bat, so he'll try to change his fortunes here. Yeah, you got to control the controllables, Matty. All you can do is put barrel to baseball and see what happens. You cannot control the defensive wizardry on the other side. The next three, two. Swing and a liner. But there to get his big glove on it is Pujols, and that'll end the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We're through six full. It's the Angels five and the Astros one. Now at the plate, Brian Goodwin. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. him up Bregman is there and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning now that Jason catch. Castro the catcher is in he was retired Castro. via the ground ball last time up and a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul The one two and it's fouled away the one two is swung on and missed he got him nice two seam fastball there you don't usually see a lot of swings and misses but that pitch unless it's really moving so that one must have had some real good late life. Into the box, Albert Pujols. Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. The Angels are gone in order. They're up five to one. Last half of the seventh here. Ready once again. Jose Altuve. No hits to this point. 
it doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one a little early and now it's even at two and two pitch on the way and he struck him out Digging in and looking for more, Jordan Alvarez. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's veal is still top-notch. This guy's a horse. Seventh inning here in a 5-1 to one ball game. Ball two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. This is on the ground over to first. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So here's Yuli Gurriel. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Two out, nobody on. is put in play to the right side of the infield fielded cleanly and that will conclude matters here in the seventh starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit eighth inning coming up angels are out in front five to one Chris Davinsky has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth number 47 Fred Davinsky Ready to begin the eighth, so the lineup flips over and digging in, Andrelton Simmons. In his last at-bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. The one two high in the air out to center field Springer has a read on it makes the play one away ready for another chance David Fletcher he was a ground out victim last time up the one two Got him off balance there as he reaches for one and grounds it to second. And that's the second out. In now is Anthony Rendon. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Mike Trout would be next. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Hit hard to the right. Foul. 5-1 our score as we play the eighth. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Angels five and the Astros one. Noah Ramirez is out from the bullpen as he'll get his first work of the season here on opening night. 
number 24, Noe Ramirez. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. George Springer, the next to hit, hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Nope. Big rip at the curveball, but it comes up empty, and it's even at 2-2. Two and two. When your team is behind this late in the game, it's not a good look for you as a hitter to show no discipline. In. It's swung on and driven out to right center field, a ball that's well hit, and that is off the wall. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. Sometimes when a reliever comes in the game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up, and that's exactly what happens here. The first battery faces just rockets one off the wall, and now he's got to worry about another base hit, potentially bringing home a run. Stepping in now, Carlos Correa. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Due next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. Springer stands at second with no outs. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Pujols is there, one away. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. This is flared out towards second. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now, now with the play, Good Garrett game. Stubbs. Runner yeah, in scoring position with Sugan. The 1-1 one -one home. Misses down below the knees. Good time to be a nine-hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. The 2-1 home is laid off of for ball number three. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. Three and one, here it is. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. And, Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Upton's under it. And that ends the inning. Two left for the Astros. They're down here 5-1. to one. Now batting, Mike Trout. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. Let's get the win, Astros. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The batter, number nine, 
Here's Tommy LaStella now. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there the next to bang bang eight. place at first Justin. as the most difficult calls Justin. for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. Barehanded at his knees. Got him. Angels go down one, two, three. They lead this one, though, five to one. Your Justin Anderson is out from now, the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance Number here on the season. Justin Anderson. Stepping into the box, Alex Bregman. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Action now in the Angels' bullpen as a left-hander starts to get loose. out towards second right to him and there's one away there's a look at the final line for the Angels starter and that's exactly how he hoped to get this season started on opening day one of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone and this guy certainly wasn't in this one didn't allow a walk all game long at the plate, Jose Altuve. Upton is there, and quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Next will be the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now the one and one pitch. His fastball taken high for a ball. And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Sometimes you just got to trust your hands. That pitch probably wasn't even in his zone, and he was able to fight it off for a base hit. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. He was a ground-out victim last time up. strike now for Houston now this is popped up room however behind the plate for Castro Who brings it in and the Angels move to 1 and 0 on the young season as this ball game is over you know it's always nice to get that first one under your belt when you start a four game series on the road it takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails of the guys at the home dugout and gives you confidence to come back and do it again tomorrow tonight's game comes to an end 5 to 1 the final score the Los Angeles Angels took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Shohei Otani gets the win on the mound his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.
the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Angels, five runs on four hits, no errors, and they left one man on base. For the Astros, one run, five hits, no errors, they left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Minute Maid Park, 41,168. The Astros thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.